Okay, uh, welcome back to the second tutorial here. We worked before on Photoshop and we're going straight into a program called After Effects. So just going to make a new composition here. Just call it Comp1. It's PAL, DVD, uh, those settings. There is a reason, I'll show you in a moment. And a uh, time frame is three seconds. And we go OK. I'm going to do file import, which is Apple I. Well, for this purpose, so you can see, it's Apple I. There we go. File import. So we're going to take the Ladybird, which we saved on the desktop, PSD. Notice the file size is 1.9 now, instead of 400 kilobytes, which it was originally. Merge layers. Let me just say merge layers. So we'll go OK. I'm going to simply drag that in. So there we go. Oh look, and it's just the right size, <laughs> so more or less. So it fits in perfect there. So wh what I'm going to do now is I'm going up to here. And it's called the Pipit, the Puppet, not the Pipit, the Puppet Pin Tool. I'm going to select the top one, and I'm simply going to do this. See the mesh? That's what it's called. Goes around the ladybird. Just putting these dots in, uh, and these are little anchor points, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. And remember, we're in After Effects, and we're making an animation. D down here, by the way, this is full half quarter. So if we go quarter, although it's small, it would normally use less CPU, and the quality would be a lot less. However, whatever happens, <laughs> when you go to render this and export it, make sure it's on full. Um, now, otherwise you get a lower grade quality at the end of the day. So we're just going to move in about half a second. Just using the, uh, you could use a mouse, I'm using the pen tool here, much prefer it's quicker. And hey presto, we've got a bit of animation going on already. Mm. So I wonder how the ladybird walks. I guess he does a bit of this. So I go up to there and uh, move that leg down. I'm going to move that one over there. Oops. There we go. Yep. He's animating quite nice. He's going like that. We're doing this very quickly. If we go again. And remember, this is all going to end up in a program called Dreamweaver. I think that'll do. We'll call it two seconds, right? So we'll just cut that down. Two seconds. There we go. Mm. I'll tell you what, we'll just slide that into there. That'll be that'll just stop it running past there. So oh look, it's animating. Amazing. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to say preview RAM and that just render this out now. So we have to wait. And uh, depending on how much RAM you have and how much you've allocated to After Effects, which you will use all of it, uh, plays a big part. You can buy very expensive graphic cards, which we'll, uh, we won't go into, but that will help you. But look, that's good enough. So we've animated something. It does jump a little bit there, but like I say, the purpose of this is just to learn. We're not going to make it... Um, spend too much time getting it you know perfect so we we could well, we'll do it now um, we could save that RAM preview for argument's sake which uh, come up here be in a quick time format I'll just say oop I've already made one I'll call it uh, comp 2 and just save that so it will render I'm just going to save that animation there it's always nice to have this as a little backup, shall we say, of what you've done. So there we go. Less than a minute. Down. Oops. Down. 
down here was the setting for export but for the purpose of this we're going into Dreamweaver so we're just going to export there's a lot isn't there look boom 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 we're going to go into um, here we are a fl Adobe Flash SWF uh, call it comp1 we might put it in I'll just put it on the desktop so I'll tell you what make a new folder and we'll call it comp1 and once the desktop's going to get covered um, We'll do that again. Okay, comp one. Loads of mistakes here. What's going on? So we go save. We're going to make that a medium size. Do we want it to loop? Well, we can do. We don't want audio. Prevent from import. We go OK. And. Go and find that file, show you what it looks like. So, come on, come on. Here we are. Now, I'm just going to open this in Flash Player. And that's what it looks like. It's got a blue background because that's what I chose, so I could choose anything. But it's quite fun, isn't it? It actually animates um, kind of real, can make it better. And just so you know, it's quite useful this. I'm going to open it up in Camino, which is a browser. And you'll see why it's quite useful. Th this is what it would actually look like in a browser. So it gives you a bit of information down there. But that, that's good. So that's enough now. We're, we're going to take this animation here, change it around a bit maybe, do what we want. We're going to drop that into the website, into Dreamweaver, which I'll show. At the moment, we've got it as, uh, we name it anything we want, but it's a flash file. And we did all that with a simple little program called After Effects. I um, say simple, it is quite complicated, but <laughs> over time you'll get, get used to it. The magic thing to remember here is it is a puppet pin tool. And that's what allows us to do that. There are uh, other ways to do this, which are more complicated, but you get uh, smoother ways. Where you can bone these. You can actually turn these into individual like bones. Uh, but this is good enough, and that's quite quick. Um, so it didn't take too long. And that's the end of this tutorial. The third one will be coming up soon. Many thanks for looking at the website, Asahi Art.